atomic mass. So this worksheet 15 for the date 782030 is again from your third chapter atoms and molecules. Now in this worksheet what is Gyan asking? He said that we know that atoms are very minute particles. So do they have mass or not? We have talked about the size but we haven't talked about the mass and if they are having mass how we express and write them. It's a very good question he is asking from her sister. Or now, sorry, her sister is asking Gyan. Now he is saying that yes, there was a scientist known John Dalton. He said that each element possessing a unique atomic mass, and he calculated the relative atomic mass in accordance with the law of definite proportion. How this atomic mass is measured? It is measured in atomic mass unit and denoted by the letter u so what is this atomic mass unit we take a reference value of 1 by 12 carbon and <coughs> we can see if a water metal is like a carbon c12 isotope and we cut 12 slices are like 12 u so if we i take one such slice it resembles atomic mass of hydrogen and 16 such slice it resembles the atomic mass of oxygen so you have to remember that we have taken carbon as a reference value here but before the carbon it was tried with oxygen but we were not able to explain everything so we switched over to carbon. Now the Jigaisa Didi is saying you have told that most of the atoms are very reactive and are not able to exist in different nature then how they exist. Now the next question is if the atoms are very reactive and it is impossible for the most of the elements to exist in atomic form then how they exist in nature Kian says that almost atoms react to form molecules and ions and the molecules or ions aggregate in large number to form a matter so we can say that how first you can say atom it will form molecules then or ion and it may form compound or mixture like this we will study further so what he is saying that atoms they are going to be in molecule ionic form existing so molecules of elements may be like the example of molecules when two or more atoms are combining together it will be giving you the molecules and molecules of compound when the two or more elements atoms of different elements combined together to give you a fixed formula okay and the charge ion particles are known as ions and these ions can be positively or negatively charged and they form a compound so this must be clear with you that atoms can exist in molecules and ion forms molecules can be in two forms it can be in elemental form or compound form and in ionic form they exist in positively charged and negatively charged ions so first question is <coughs> what is is atomic mass same for all elements or different for different explain so we have seen there that what is atomic mass if you see in this paragraph what was atomic mass <coughs> it is the proportion we are comparing that atomic mass with the taking a mass equivalent to 1 12th of carbon of a atom so question is ours is atomic mass same for all elements or different atomic mass is different for different elements as we can say that hydrogen is having the you can write yourself in this that atomic mass is different for different elements hydrogen is having 1 u and carbon is having 12 u and you can say nitrogen is having 14 u so the atomic mass is not same for all elements it is not same it is different for different atoms or elements you can give the example now the next question is what is atomic mass unit explain with example this you can take from this paragraph that atomic mass unit 
it is the relative atomic mass in accordance with the law of definite proportion and you can take the example of that if we take one slice it resembles with the hydrogen and 16 with the carbon so <coughs> what is the atomic mass unit atomic mass unit it is the amount of mass which is contained in a particular element or atom in comparison with the c12 of carbon or it is the mass of the one twelfth of the mass of the carbon atom this you have to write then how do atoms exist in nature explain with example so the atoms exist in nature in two forms molecule form and ion form okay you can write in molecule form it exists in molecules of element and molecule of compound and in ion form it exists in positively and negatively charged as you can write the example of NaCl and Na plus and Cl minus here you can take the example of oxygen so many other examples are there you can take the example of hydrogen molecule sulfur molecule like this okay now which type of charge are present on ions so the two types of charges are present on ion positive and negatively charge you can take the example of NaCl okay you write NaCl and it is having the Na plus and Cl minus so this complete your worksheet friends you are not subscribing this channel kindly subscribe like 